As more and more animals go extinct nearly every day, the critically endangered ones are moved into captivity just so their population can rise. But some animals just can't live in zoos no matter the conditions. From the great white shark to the giant squid, here are 12 animals that no zoo wants. Number 12. Great White Shark If you go to your local zoo or aquarium, you'll probably find all kinds of different fish. But one fish that you'll never see is the Great White Shark. It seems a little weird that you don't ever see them in zoos since they're one of the most talked about species. But there's a big reason why zoos just can't keep them in captivity. Back in the early 2000s when zookeepers tried to keep Great White Sharks, no matter what they did, the sharks just kept dying. The longest a shark has ever lived in captivity is only 14 days. This is because the sharks ended up getting so stressed out that they don't eat anything. They also constantly got injured because of the tank and just seemed extremely depressed inside. On top of all this, it takes the zoo an insane amount of resources to keep one in captivity, and that too for only a couple of days. In the end, the zoo management ditched the idea of getting them in their aquarium and have left the sharks be. Number 11. Swallow Unlike some of the other animals on this list, swallows have a pretty unique reason for not being in any zoos. It's not because they're endangered or anything, it's simply because they fly everywhere. You need to have a lot of space for these birds to be able to thrive as they do in the wild. But that's not something most zoos can afford. On top of that, they have a very specific diet that needs to be followed. If all of their requirements aren't met, then they'll probably die one way or another. Most zookeepers don't think these picky birds are worth all this time and money. Number 10. Javan Rhino The Javan Rhinos are the rarest large mammals on the planet with just around 63 left, yet not a single one of them is in captivity. They all live in a national park in Indonesia. The main reason why they can't be kept in captivity is that their lifespan drastically decreases when they are. Considering how endangered they are, not one zoo wants to risk one of the rhinos dying on them. Unfortunately, the Javan rhinos live in an area that is very susceptible to tsunamis and volcanic eruptions, which could easily lead to their extinction all in one day. Yet, it's a risk that they just have to take, because if they do anything, their numbers will diminish anyways. A classic lose-lose situation. Number 9. Mariana Snailfish the Mariana snailfish live more than 26,000 feet deep in the ocean. The pressure of water that deep is so high that it would probably feel like there's a grand piano crushing you to death. But for Mariana snailfish, it's nothing. In fact, they actually thrive in these conditions. That's why when zoos started keeping them in captivity, all of them started dying because they couldn't just live in shallow water. Plus, Scientists don't really have much information on these fish because they literally live in the deepest part of the ocean, so they had to quit trying to keep them and ditch the idea altogether. Number 8. Cookie Cutter Fish Cookie Cutter Fish probably has the most unique reason for not being in any aquarium ever. These fish literally eat a chunk of flesh from larger mammals like sharks and dolphins. Now, you probably get an idea of where their name came from. They usually don't actually kill the larger animal, mostly because they're not strong enough to take them on. So they basically take what they need and go about their day as if it's completely normal. Because of their unusual diet, most zookeepers agree that it's a better idea to keep cookie cutter fish away from other regular fish. Number 7. Injury Injury is a creature that not many people have heard of since they can't be kept in captivity and are critically endangered. There was actually a time when people tried to keep them in captivity just to help them repopulate their species, but their plan completely backfired on them when all of them started literally dying. In the wild, injury can live up to 18 years, but when they were kept in captivity, they were barely able to live a year. This is mostly because injury doesn't really do that well under stress and gets anxious very easily. On top of that, injury also wouldn't reproduce at all when they were in captivity, so there was no point in trying to get them to adjust. Number 6. Whooping Cranes Back in the 1940s, there were less than 20 whooping cranes in the entire world. That's when the people at Audubon Zoo decided to do something about their decreasing popularity with the two male and female whooping cranes they had. However, the birds weren't thriving in captivity, and eventually, the male whooping crane died. 
In the 1970s, scientists then scientifically bred whooping cranes after many failures. The offspring were raised completely by humans that were wearing a cloak that kind of looked like the crane's head. This was necessary so they wouldn't become too used to being around humans. Their efforts paid off and now there are around 600 whooping cranes. While that's still a pretty small number, it's way better than 20. Number 5. Giant Squid the giant squid is a complete mystery to everyone including scientists. This is because they live so deep in the ocean that scientists can't really study them, let alone hold them in captivity. The only time they ever really got to study them was when they died and washed up on shore. These squids live so deep in the ocean that they basically have night vision. They can see anything a regular creature wouldn't be able to. The first time this giant squid was ever seen actually alive was back in 2004 when researchers in Japan managed to take pictures of it. They even brought it to the surface just two years later. Yet, none of them can ever be put into captivity again. Number 4. Mountain Gorilla these days, you'll probably see all kinds of gorillas at the zoo or in animal enclosures, but you'll never see a mountain gorilla at any of these. This is because there are less than 1,000 of these gorillas left, and they're all in the wild. Back in the 1970s, people actually tried to capture them for their zoo, but they all died because their dietary needs were much more compared to any other gorilla. In fact, they actually spent most of their day just eating. Mountain gorillas also got much more stressed out when they were kept in captivity. Because of all these reasons, zookeepers don't really want to take these gorillas in. Number 3. Kangaroos Kangaroos are a creature you might have seen at one or two zoos in your life, but that doesn't mean the zookeeper is happy to have them around. They're literally notorious for doing whatever the hell they feel like, which is why most zoos stray away from keeping them in their enclosures. They're also pretty aggressive and unpredictable. You'll almost never know their next move. Kangaroos don't really do that well in captivity anyways, so they're much happier just roaming around picking fights with the people they want to fight. Number 2. Narwhal Narwhals aren't endangered at all, yet you'll still never see them in any kind of aquarium ever. There are around 80,000 of these in the Arctic Oceans of Russia, Canada, and Greenland. In the wild, they can live up to 100 years, but when they were kept in captivity, they only lived a few months. No one really knows the exact reason why they died so quickly, but many think it's because of stress and their tusks. Narwhals have super long tusks that are actually their tooth. They are super sensitive and are pretty dangerous to be around. Zookeepers decided the risk was way too high and steer clear of holding these guys captive because they might have to fight to stay alive with them inside. Number 1. Pink Fairy Armadillo Pink Fairy Armadillos are the smallest armadillos ever and actually look kinda cute, but these guys are rarely ever seen in the wild. This is because they spend the majority of their lives digging in the dirt and staying underground. And since they only live a couple of years anyways, scientists haven't really been able to study them at all. Even when people were able to capture them, the pink fairy armadillo wasn't doing so well with the sudden change in their surroundings and diet. Their lifespan was shortened by quite a lot. That's why zoos just let these animals live on their own in the wild. Alright, would you want to see any of these animals in a zoo? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Trend Joint, and we'll see you in the next one.